create heat for right and left side cladding. For that select any sheet then go to the properties copy properties click here it will copy then go to the steel tab select here beam then just click here click this point then click here now the sheet is created press escape key then click outside select this sheet just make it here side you can make right and left side or you can make it side other all the thing keep as it is then modify if you go to 3d view press control tab here it is 3d view what we created the sheet is available here select this sheet then go to rotate make it 90 then enter you can see here it is placed like this but we need this profile I just go to the view select here view list select this plan view then if you go here you can see here what we created but we needed this one opposite direction so you can make it here 180 degree rotation then enter you will get it here like this exactly we need it like this now select this sheet right click move click this point then place it exactly here so this is our grid in this grid we need to place it here now i just go to the 3d view you can see here it is placed select this one we need to make it here bottom 0 then enter so you will get it up to here here also you will get it up to here this area we will make it rain cutter and all now this one is placed perfectly we need to arrange this one this all the area now I just go to work plane tool then I just click here click here so this is our x direction this side we need to copy so we need to make it x direction negative select this sheet right click copy special linear make it x direction minus 1058 this is our effective width 1058 make it here quantity 60 quantity then copy so now don't expand now press escape key click outside you can see here control or you can click here press control and press the mouse center button you can orbit like this here we created more just delete more sheets so this one is finished this area we can cut and remove for that go to the plan view press control tab you can go to the plan view here it is you can see here what we created so this area we don't want we can cut and remove this one for that just go to edit you can select any tool select here line cut select this point and click here and I click here then I select here it is cut and removed then control tab you can go to next next view now we will select this all the things before that we need to take this view we need to take this view then go to the view select here warp plane parallel to view plane now just click here you will get it like this after that you have to go here select all the sheets you can make filter and you can select the sheet also i, I will show you how to do that one just double click outside then go to the object group select part then select here part name you can make here contain then i just click here you can select from model now you can click this sheet 
Now you can see here side sheet, you will get it the name here. Now I just modify, click outside. Then if you modify, you can see the side sheet only. If you go to display, this all the things, bolt and all. If you don't want, just make it here, switch off this, holes and bolt. Now you can see, you will get it this sheet only. So now you can, simply you can select this sheet. Once you select this one, next go to, press control tab, you can go to this view, then right click, copy special, mirror, click this point and click here, then copy. Within few seconds, all the sheet will copy to another side. Now here it is copied. If you go to here it is copied. You can see if you go to the 3D view, press Control Tab. Here it is copied. You can see this side. Double click outside. You can go to the object group filter. If you remove this one and modify, you can see all the sheets. So we created this side sheet also.